are a micro hydro power system team. We are an international senior design group. We are also located in Panama and we're calling ourselves LT Grade Engineering. I'm Jennifer Fuller, I'm a civil engineering student. Another team member is Tristram Hokinson, she's also a civil engineering student. Grace Newberg, mechanical engineering student. And Benjamin Coltis, electrical engineering student. As we said, we're located in Panama in the Comarca Nove Lube, which is where the past two teams were also located. So why were we there? Well, because it was awesome. Just kidding. I mean, it was awesome. But we actually went there for the community. This is our community. It actually was comprised of about 300 people. Here, I think, I'm not sure how many are in the picture, but uh, they're called the Nobe. They are self-sustaining farmers, and they currently have no electricity or running water in their village. So why would the Nobe people want electricity? Um, some of the things we found out is that they'd like to have a light. Um, even if it's just one in their house. They'd like to charge their cell phones because right now they all, a lot of them have cell phones, but they go to um, somebody's house who has a solar panel and pay them to charge them. Um, potentially refrigeration would be a big deal for them. Right now there's none in any of the three communities in our area. So why are we using micro hydropower? Um, basically, there's a suitable river nearby with a lot of potential for power generation. And also with micro hydropower, there's opportunities for funding as well. So that means using turbines and generators. So if you're not familiar with micro hydropower, um, basically it involves taking in a large amount of water from the river, sending it through a pipe where it spins the turbine blades, which are connected to a shaft that runs a generator and that produces the electricity. So what's the problem here? Well, the biggest problem is that they're an underdeveloped community. Um, they've never had any sort of running water or electricity in their community. And there's not, as you've seen from past pictures, there's not a very good way to bring the materials that we would use in the US. They're also unorganized. They've never had a sense of community or any kind of group to help them make a project. So the biggest question is, are they ready? <coughs> they just came to the train about a year ago. Um, they started implementing them in their village. One of the greatest things about the latrines is their view. <laughs> <laughs> and their next project are aqueducts. They have a Peace Corps volunteer, <coughs> who some of you may know, his name is Jake Midkiff. Uh, that's his cat, Jed, who our team is named after, LT Grid Engineering. Um, and he's the Peace Corps volunteer in their village. He believes that with this new project of aqueducts, they can establish a sort of water committee, and from there they'll have a sense of community to be able to have a micro hydropower community. So back to our map of Panama. Uh, if you look at that arrow, that's the, the village where we were staying. Um, you can see it's really far from the main roads, really far from cities. Um, it's, it's mostly trails and it's very mountainous too, like the other groups have said. So that's kind of a challenge for when you're constructing any kind of project. Um, just for reference, you can see what one mile is on our GPS map. Just to give you an idea of um, what we're dealing with, on the right you can see both of our sites. Um, we picked out two sites for potential generator locations. Site one is a 50 foot waterfall. Um, if you're going to generate hydropower, you need something that either has high head or a large flow rate. This one has a pretty good flow rate, but mostly just the high head. And um, it's looking like maybe our best option. Our estimates are that it could produce 10 kilowatts. And as you saw on the map, it's pretty close to the village. <coughs> Site two is a deep channel with really fast moving water. So it's a good volumetric flow rate. Um, at this site, it would be more of a inline turbine system where the pipe would be horizontal. It would be submerged in that channel. And the turbine would be more like a propeller at the end. So um, it's another thing to consider. 
So thanks for your attention. If uh, any of this was interesting and you want to learn more about it, we'll be building turbines out of soda bottles later on in our We Got Fun Games breakout session.